Well, you all, civilization is catching up with me. This is the land across the street from my home. And I see a, got a man over there working and clearing the land. I'm a little bit worried. Look at that. So I tried to purchase this land right here. When I first moved in, it said 24 acres. Now it's down to 18.9 acres. And so, so someone purchased about a little over five acres and or almost five acres and it looks like they're clearing it away to start building so my only concern is number one I came out here to get away from all of this <laughs> and that was the one downside about buying this property when I saw this blank land across the street and I saw that it was for sale because I know there's other people like me who are also trying to get away from, you know, the city. But, you know, it's, it was inevitable. It was inevitable. Anyway, I tried to buy the land at least, of, at least five acres in the front so I could kind of make sure the front stayed unoccupied and someone came in after me with a bigger offer and I just had not worked enough hustles <laughs> to be able to outbid them and I wasn't going to pay that much so I can only hope that whoever purchased this land does not put a subdivision on it and if you think they can't put a subdivision on five acres I'm going to show you another video where um, where five eight they they just stuck about it looks like a thousand little mini townhomes side by side on each other on a patch of land that appears to be maybe I don't know I don't know it could be longer more than three acres but. They just stack these houses one on top of the other. So that's the new trend now. There's no control over the spread. And I was really hoping this town that I moved to wasn't trying to become another, another Atlanta. Cause it's such a charming area. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful and it's clean and the air is clean and we have wide open spaces. <coughs> Plus, when more people show up, that's when you have the craziness. You have more home invasions and you have more carjackings. And it's just not as quiet. So we'll see. Maybe maybe I'm maybe I'll look out. Maybe the person who purchased this land is um gonna build a home. Maybe his home will be set back about, a, I don't know, half an acre or so. I can dream. Look at that. <laughs> now over here, I don't know if you all can tell, over here, you can't, the land, go, the, the land slopes all the way down towards the Yellow River. And er almost everything on this side where I'm pointing my camera, everything on that side is a floodplain. Like when the Yellow River rises, it comes up pretty high on that side to about less than 10 feet. It's like a real deep, deep pit in the valley over there. I don't know if it's buildable. Whoever purchases that land may just be purchasing space just for a barrier. But there's a tip of Yellow River that borders that land at the very bottom of that pit down there. And again, you can't see it from here. But I may try to walk down there after this, after this bulldozer leaves and 
go down there and see what's going on. So, I guess we all have the same dream, huh? Just to get away and have a few acres and live our life peacefully. We all have the same dream of trying to homestead a little bit. I understand. You can't be selfish. You can't own everything. I guess I was just hoping I would have a little more privacy longer than it appears I'll have it. On the flip side, my dad is very excited about the fact that someone has purchased that land and that may be building over there because he doesn't like the fact that I appear to be isolated. Even though I keep telling him, look at the road in front of my house. This is my isolation. Lots of cars drive up and down this road. My closest neighbor down there is about, I don't know, a thousand feet. And then down there is about a thousand feet is the intersection. Ooh, the mirror in that black truck was kind of cute. Uh... And I don't have any neighbors over here. <clears throat> Hope I don't step on Zeus's poop. I've been picking it up every day, but sometimes he throws one in and I barely miss it. But um, on this side, you know, there's a the county put some kind of power box. They took some of the land and put a power box. And I have to get a survey because it's not clear from the land from the from the plot map if the land on the other side of that power box belongs to me or not. I thought the owner said it he that it did, but I have a surveyor starting next week to clarify that for me. And if that's the case, then I'll have all this privacy, you know, on the other side way down there. And if not, that means somebody could potentially build on the other side of that power box. So I'll have somebody a little closer than I wanted them to be. But I still have nine acres. So I can still put up my fence and do my thing. As long as the county doesn't disturb my, my R5 rural zoning, I'm fine and I'm happy. And if they try to mess with my zoning, I'm going to have to go fight. But anyway... <laughs> so I'm out here this morning perusing the land because I have some people coming out next week to help me with my my preliminary garden I've decided to take all the land in the front of my yard here and over here to build my flower boxes. Not, well, flower boxes, my vegetable boxes. I'm building raised garden beds. <clears throat> I already went and ordered my soil and my rock and mulch and all of that. That's coming next week. So we're going to be out here taking various parts of the land and, and growing. Now, you may say, I wonder, why am I not using land in the back of the house? Why am I not using the land over there behind the fence where the pool is? Well, that is because I am working with um, a representative from the Department of Forestry and the USDA. They are going to help me prepare my land for farming and I'm also working with the county that I live in so that I can have the official designation of a farm and everyone recommended that I not begin but because I want to have a farm which has certain connotations um, that I not be do too much clearing of the land back here until I design out where I want my animals to go and where I want my 
agriculture to go. So what I'm building, so what I'm building in the front is, is temporary. I just want to get started just having some fruits and vegetables that I could have throughout the summer and start doing some canning in the fall. But out here in the back, <coughs> this is this is going to be used for something else. Now I do know that it's a great area to hold weddings. And three of my friends are already going to use my property back here for weddings. So they'll be coming out here in two weeks to begin clearing the land for me so that we can make it look pretty. But all this land back there, the entire nine acres, got some plans for it. <clears throat> and a lot of my, some of the animals that I'm going to house are gonna be back there and I'm going to clear some more land away in the back here for agriculture. So it's going to be some time with this project. It's not going to be as fast as I thought. And so once I realized that, I said, okay, let me just slow down and just go through the steps. This is how I've done anything in life, just step, step by step. Things have occurred. And then before you know it, you look up, you're there. And I spent so much time, you all, racing to the finish line that I don't enjoy the journey. So I'm going to en en enjoy the journey this time and I hope that provides a good story for you to follow. So, let me see what else I want to tell you all. Oh, I also have scheduled one or two events. So I advertise my property as is on an event site for people who want to advertise, you know, event spaces. And I have one lady who wants to perform a yoga retreat here. And I have one wedding, one official wedding that I'm getting paid for. <laughs> so... It's happening. I'm slowly, you know, getting it together. I wasn't going to advertise so soon, but one of my friends who's a minister said, don't, you don't have to wait. Your land is beautiful. Just put it out there and just see who responds. But I have to come over here and, <coughs> excuse me, clean this stuff up. Now this right here is a shooting range the previous owner had up. In another video, I talked about the fact that I went to Shots Fired in Covington, Georgia. And I, let me see. And this is my very first effort at shooting. The, he was very, the, the um, instructor was very impressed. So anyway, to get more details about why I was trying to learn how to shoot at shots fired, I need you to go look at my other video. <laughs> Click on that video and like and subscribe and comment. Anyway, it is time for me to get back in. I want to go swimming today and then go visit my dad and... I hope everybody has just a wonderful day today, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.